Welcome back to Canada Now. Uprooting your children, changing your country, lifestyle and occupation, that's what most immigrants to Canada have to deal with. It's a challenge and tonight we'll tell you about parents who are meeting that challenge. Not only are they nurturing a family, but encouraging the growth of a business at the same time. A business in orchids. Catherine Harrop has their story. You can just make them out behind the double glaze of their new greenhouse. George and Eugenia Dietrich prepare pots. They are about to transplant some of their orchid seedlings. Eugenia and George are transplants too, from Argentina. In 1999, they decided to uproot themselves and their four children. We were in a good position, but uh, the situation was becoming worse and worse, not only in the economic way, also social way, the education level was dropping, and we have four kids. And uh, we were thinking about their future. And we found that uh, it's going to be very hard for them, for their future. That's why we decided to move. That was in 1999. The Dietrichs had a house in town and one in the country. Life was good, but Argentina is volatile. One of their good friends disappeared. He was killed. He's one of the 30,000 missing people in Argentina. They chose Canada for the kids, but the kids didn't really want to go. This picture was taken the night before they left for Canada. My daughter was, uh, my oldest daughter was uh, crying the first four months, yeah, every day. Every day. It was hard, this part. The first year also was hard. They didn't realize how, war, how, how bad was the situation, and because they never, they always had everything over there. Both George and Eugenia are scientists by education, agrologists actually. They were professors at an Argentinian university. But when they came to Canada, their qualifications were no more than framed paper. George discovered it was cheaper and quicker to get his Masters of Business Administration than to have his credits transferred. They used up their savings quickly. Then a one-time federal government program offered them a chance, providing three dollars to every one they saved towards starting a small business. They collected the maximum of six thousand dollars. Because our agricultural uh, background, we were searching how can be a niche to start a very a, a little enterprise, and we found that that uh, could be uh, uh, orchids uh, as a very specific. Uh, uh, business, no? Orchids. Written about over 2,000 years ago in China. Praised in paint and poem. At one point, orchids were regarded as an aphrodisiac and used as one of the main ingredients in love potions. They were also considered a hobby of the wealthy. They continue to inspire passion among orchid hobbyists. But now, the average orchid costs from 15 to 50 dollars. The Dietrichs are importing some and growing 500 from plant tissue. It takes two years to grow an orchid from plant tissue, three years from seeds. They are just starting to plant the nine-month-olds into tree-like environments. Almost all orchids grow on trees. Unlike money, ingenuity is necessary. A piece of latticework that came off the side of the house gets used. Orchids need specific humidity and temperatures, different in the day and night. So Georges rigged up an automatic timer that turns the heater or the humidifier on and off. The younger plants stay in a mini greenhouse within the larger one, a little less expensive to control. George is insulating the greenhouse he purchased to save heating and cooling costs. These are, are the box that uh, came uh, my uh, greenhouse from uh, British Columbia and uh, I recycling all the material and this plywood uh, I'm going to cover this uh, area. Everything is done with the bottom line in mind including water supply. Well I collect the water from the roof and uh, they come to the gutter. The gutter I collect by the um, 
first pass through this filter which by gravity I separate all the solid and they can clean into this uh, cisterna. I collect roughly for each millimeter that is forecast by the weather channel uh, that means 70 liter in my uh, cisterna and it's a little bit acid, uh, rain acid so it's uh, very good for orchids as well so it's uh, and in this way also I save uh, I, I'm not using water, uh, city water. And if it doesn't go well? If it doesn't go well, we have a very nice solarium. <laughs> and <laughs> they took chances on a new business, on a new country. Chances they hope will pay off. We came here with a dream. Our dream is to be able to work and to bring to this society something good because we know that next generations have to be better than us and that that is for what we are working for. The Dietrichs hope to have orchids for sale by December. Catherine Harrop, CBC News, Fredericton. What a beautiful shot. Well, please stay with us. Your weather forecast is next and the story